you. Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and it's workout time. For today's workout, one round will take only 10 minutes. So of course you can repeat it. How many times I go through it will be on my blog. And I'm also gonna get in some cardio today. So I will write about that as well. So you guys can know the exact workout, how I'm doing it. Plus there are over 600 other free workouts there. So check it out, benderfitness.com. I have my interval timer set for 10 rounds of 10 seconds rest, 50 seconds maximum repetition. So our first exercise today is gonna to be high knees. We have 10 seconds to prepare. Core is gonna stay tight throughout and we're gonna drive our knees up every time. So find a pace that challenges you. You wanna work up sweat, get your heart rate up, get your breathing a little bit heavy and really push for each interval. Good job guys. Check that you're still lifting those knees high. It's gonna engage the abdominals a little bit more when you keep them in tight and lift the knees. Keep going, almost there. Okay, next we have a double hop lunge. So we will start out with our right foot moving, core stays tight. We're gonna step back into our lunge, hop straight up, come up, hop. Back, hop, up, hop. All one side and then we're gonna do the other side next. land toe to heel on that hop. Keep it moving. Pull that core in, good job. Same thing on the other side, so left leg is moving this time, core stays tight. Catch your breath. So right back into our hop, or our lunge. Hop, forward, hop. So try and push right back from that front hop. If you could go faster, go faster, get in more reps. Always with good form though. So on your lunge, your hips are gonna go straight up and down. Good job guys, almost there. Okay, next we have high knees again. Core tight. Again, push yourself, find that challenging pace, and then hold it. Good job, guys. Keep going. Pull the core in. If you don't feel yourself breathing a little bit heavy, go a little bit faster. Goal is always to challenge yourself. Okay, next we have plie jump to side kick. Again, we're gonna do all one side, then all the other side. Toes turn out at an angle, more than hip distance apart. We're going to tuck our tailbone, keep the knees pressing back, squat, jump, land with a bend, kick, right side only. 
Keep that chest lifted. By tucking the tailbone, that gets a little easier. Down, jump, down, kick. Keep breathing. We're gonna do the other side next. Okay, take a break, shake it out. And then on to the left kick, or whatever side you didn't just do. Toes turn out, tuck the tailbone. Again, you can pick up the pace if you're able to, to increase the challenge. Keep those knees pressing back. Don't let them collapse in. Okay, back to the high knees. Another cardio burst. Here we go. Get those knees lifted and keep your body moving the whole time. If you get really fatigued and need to rest, come right back into it as soon as you're able to. Check the knees. Are they coming high enough? Okay, next we have Warrior Three Tap. We'll start with our right leg. So start with your feet together. One leg extends behind you. We're going to keep the back flat. Lift to Warrior Three. If you need to, slight bend, tap, and then tap the toe. So lift, flat back, keep the back flat, tap the fingers, tap the toe. Almost a seesawing motion. Straight line from your head, down your back to your hips, to the tips of your toe. Whoop. Find that balance. Core tight. Breathe. Same thing on the other side. Core tight, other leg extends behind you, straight line. Pull it in. We're going to flat back, tap, lift, and tap. So go at your own pace, just make sure you're focusing on keeping that form. So none of this. You want to keep the back straight. Even if that means you can't really tap as far, that's all right. Tap your shin if you have to. Keep moving. Knee facing the ground of your back leg. Extend. Okay, high knees. It's the last exercise of this round. Like I said, you can repeat it. It'll get a little bit more intense as you get more tired. So every time you should feel it a little bit more. Here we go. Keep breathing. 
get a nice push. You can go a little faster to do it. Good job guys, almost done. Lift the knees. Good job. So that is one round, one round complete of today's workout. If you are up for it, repeat it. You guys tag me, comment, let me know how many rounds you get through, what you think, because I will be checking. And you can, as always, find the workouts on my site, benderfitness.com. So I have to see you guys there. Click like if you like the workout and click subscribe if you like big free workouts. See you guys next time.